Welcome to Perfect Python, the series where I show you how to take your code to the next level, perfection. In the last video we talked about code formatting and in this video we're sort of going to go on the same sort of vein, we're going to talk about sorting imports. So this might seem like a very specific thing to want to do, but Pepe does have uh, guides on imports and specifically how they're sorted. I'll get into that in the main section of the video. If anything, it's even more useful because it means that people can see exactly where things are imported from right at the offset. It's also really nice for perfectionists like me who need everything to be sorted alphabetically. Of course, if you find this video helpful at any point, then consider like it to let me know and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos in the series. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. So ordering imports is actually another facet of Pepe as you can see here. So, you know, generally speaking, Imports should be on separate lines unless you know you're importing specific classes, constants, variables, whatever from a module. Uh, they should be imported in alphabetical order um, and they should be given in the following format. Uh, so they should be grouped by standard library imports first, then related third party imports second, then local application slash library specific imports third. And there should be a blank line between each of these groups of imports. And this can be annoying to deal with, especially if you have a lot of libraries and you don't necessarily know which ones are third party and which ones aren't because it's a dependency or something or other. And it can be really difficult to deal with um, at times, but if you don't do it, it's a complete mess to look through. And this is where a tool called iSort comes in. So if we were to... Uh, oh no, pip install analytics. Let's just get a, th a third party library in here and we'll use one of mine for, <laughs> for, for ease of use, I suppose. And then we'll say, we'll import uh, sys OS. You know, what we'll do as they do in the example. Uh, we'll put, you know, we'll just have, let's see how much of a mess I can make this. Uh, from path lib import path import typing as to, this is triggering so many people including me i am having a slight heart attack uh doing this let's do import formatting as well and then from os.path import i know is file or something there we go so this is a complete mess right now if if someone were to look at this they'd be like what the hell is going on because you have your third party library here you have combined imports here um, actually, you know what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to import some sort of class. OS is like the worst thing I could have chosen. Actually, you know what, we won't do it with that. We'll do it with path because we can, uh, oh, what, what else, <laughs> what else exists in path lib? Hang on. Okay. That was a weird cut. What I was trying to do, uh, was I was trying to get, you know, uh, an object and like a constant imported from the same library because it actually sorts those as well because those need to be sorted um, and partly didn't have anything so I took a quick cut and uh, just imported this line from analytics here um, and apparently we've imported from import lib dot resources we've imported path as well why not that looks good to me um, bloody auto import is really annoying sometimes so yeah the point is this is an absolute mess if someone were to look at this they go what the hell man what are you doing and this is where iSort comes in really handy. So we can do pip install iSort. I do not remember for life of me if it has any dependencies. It actually doesn't. Not interesting. The code base might be a complete mess. Um, I would know because I've contributed to it. But uh, it's not. <laughs> it's dependencyless, which is something at the very least. So there are actually two ways you can do this. Uh, the first of which, if you're using VS Code, um, if you have the Python extension installed, you can actually... Uh, press and hold control K, release both, and then press I. And it will actually sort the imports for you, which is really cool. Um, however, if you don't have, oh, actually no, I think it's just in the right click menu, yeah. So you have the right click menu, you hit sort imports and it does it. I binded the key bind to it. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, but it is available in VS Code, you know, off the bat. You don't have to inst install anything else for that. But the way you can do it on the command line is just doing I sort dot the same as you would do um, in black, really. And you run that. Uh, there we go. That was weird. And it sorts everything out. So now, you know, we have import and sys are in the right order and separated. Import typing is T is here as well. All these three in alphabetical order. All your from imports are below all your standard imports, which is also nice. 
These things are also in alphabetical order. Uh, analytics uh, has been moved down here to its own group, and okay, it was actually this order. I couldn't remember what order it was going in, so if I do that, there we go. It swaps them around. You just saw that happen. And then we're importing our API base URL and our analytics class in there. And then our formatting file, which we're actually importing here, um, because it's a local library that needs to be in, the, um, in a separate group on its own. And so it's down here. So you may be wondering what the importance of this actually is. And really, it's just readability. It's the same thing as Black. It's the same thing as anything Pepe is involved with. It's just readability. So from here, I can understand that, oh, these are all you know, from the standard lib, oh, this is some third party import and oh, this is some other library in the package um, or, you know, or some utility file that's come with the application, for example. So it's just really easy there and then I can see exactly what's come from what um, and it's all good. Uh, there is one other thing that I want to show you with this and I'll quickly cut and set that up um, and come back to you. So the other thing I wanted to show you is line lengths when it comes to imports. So Black could handle this, however I sort also handles this for you. So if I just if I just use the control I keyboard shortcut for now, we can see that it imports it and uh, my indent extension is going a bit nuts here. But it doesn't it doesn't sort it as Pepe would like it. And this is something that's quite annoying if I sort. You could use black to format it, but then if you're running, you know, knock sessions or tests, for example, then black would fail if it was formatted like this, and I sort would fail if black had formatted it. Um, there's just no winning with it. But what you can do if you have black installed is from the command line interface, and you can set this up um, in your Visual Studio code as well. I forget how to do it, but you can do I sort dot double dash profile equals black. And what that will do is once I actually save the file, <laughs> that'd be nice, overwrite. Uh, what that will do is it will actually sort it as black would want it. Um, so that I'm pretty sure that only works if black is installed. I don't know for sure. I've never tested it, believe it or not. Um, but you know, now it's all formatted as black would want it, uh, you know, conforming to our lie lengths and also, you know, with our things as well. There are millions of other options. So you can set it to do, you know, from analytics import API base URL, from analytics import API scopes. I don't know how to do that off the top of my head, uh, but I know that it's possible. There's, you know, millions and billions and billions of other options. Uh, I sort is very, very extensive in its, what, 12 years of life on this planet. Um, it's quite something. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, hit the like button to let me know. It really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to be, you know, hopefully doing these, you know, one a week. I've done, I did one the last week. I'm going to record another one today that will go up next week. Um, and hopefully I'll have enough time to record another one uh, in there with all the assignments and everything going on. But it should be fine. Uh, I'd like to thank my amazing patrons on screen now. One pound a month and you can be on that screen too. And I'll see you next time where we talk about type hinting in MyPy. So I'll uh, see you for that.